Hello, I'm going to show you a video of how to build something out of a building bigger sinking box. First, you're going to take your two yellow 2x4 plates and connect them together with a set of wheels like this. Then you're going to connect the other yellow plate together with it. And then you're going to get the other set of, of wheels and connect it on the other side like this. Next, you're going to take two of these one by one with a hole in the middles, two of them. And then you're going to connect them onto the, each of the corners of the yellow plates so it ends up like that. Next, you're going to take this blue curved brick heck, and put it here like that. And then you're going to grab another one and put it right across from it so it's like that. Then you're going to take your one by one slanted bricks and put them just right here like that, curved up against the one by one brick with a hole in the middle so you've got some curves like that. Then you're going to take this brown one by two brick and put it right here so it's um, right behind those one by one slanted bricks. Next you're going to take two more of these one by one bricks with a hole in the middle and you're going to put them right next to that brown two by I one right right there then grab your yellow tur twists and put them connecting onto these one by ones with a hole in the middle like this so it ends up with like twisty arms. And then you're going to grab two eyes and put them on your other one by one with a hole in the middle. So you can have two eyes on the front with yellow twisty arms like that. Next you grab a red one by four and put it over the eyeball pieces it's where the eyes are like so you have something that looks like that right here on top of this one by four red plate you're going to get one blue circle piece and put it on one edge and grab another one and put it on the other edge then you're gonna next you grab a red one by four and put it over the eyeball pieces it's where the eyes are like so you have something that looks like that grab a one by one slanted piece and put it just curved a small all bit like that and then you're gonna grab another one and put it on the other blue dot like that so it's like that then grab two of these one by one green square pieces and you're going to put them just on that same red one by four that we used last step so you're going to put both of them on right next to each other sometimes you might need to take these ones off but that's okay and then it turns out like that. Then you're going to grab these orange circle pieces. You're going to put them on these yellow bendy arms like this and like this for hands. Now we're going to take two of the two by ones on reds with one dot in the middle. And then we're going to get one of these blue one by two slanted pieces and put it on it like that and then we're going to grab one of these one of the antennas and put it on there 
and curve it just about the same amount as what the slant is. Now you're going to need two of the 1x2 slanted pieces, two 1x1 one one slanted pieces that are, are clear, and you're also going to need two of your propellers like this, and then you're going to grab one propeller and connect it to the 1x2 one plate like this, and then you're going to put the 1x1 one one piece on top of it so you finish like this with a propeller like that. And then you're going to do the same with this one. Push this one, connect down to the propeller, and then connect this one by one piece onto the two by two slant. And then you've got two of them. Now you're going to take these two one by two bumpy pieces and put them on the end of here like this so you've got a little chair thing. Then you're going to grab your other one by two tan piece and put it right in between those bumpy pieces like that. And then you're going to grab this two by by one piece with one dot in the middle and just set it right there on the end like that. And then you're going to get this tail piece and put it on the end like this so it looks like this. Then you're going to grab your 2x4 or a flat piece and you're going to put it here like that. Grab these two yellow pieces and then you put them on the 2x4 piece like this and then it turns out like that. Now you're going to take your 1x1 one one pieces with a star on them you're just going to put them on the end just like this so they're right there. Now you're going to take these three pieces with the curve that we made earlier in the video and then we're going to put this 2 by 3 right under this one like this and then we're going to grab this one which is going to go here and then we're going to connect it by pushing this one by two yellow plate like this and like this we're going to grab two of those like that and then we're going to put this here so it goes like that and then the bottom goes like that now we're going to take the last piece Put it right here behind the stars like that. Connect it there like that. And then we're going to grab this piece. Just put those two blue dots just right there in between the stars. Click it together. Make sure those red pieces connect. And then you've got your wiggly robot with its propellers, it's got its arms, and it's even got a little joystick piece here that you can play with. Also, if you want, instead of having with one joystick on the top, you can trade it by putting one circle piece Connected to a one by one slant and put that on the top instead, and then grab two joysticks and put them on these two dots a small bit curved, and then you can curve them down into these little pathways. I'll get a little closer so you can see. See, one joystick is this one is down in there, and then this one's up, and you can fold it down to go 
in that little part. Also, if you bought this set in 2018, it comes with a 60 years of Lego piece. And what I like to do with this set is I like to grab two 2x4 two fat bricks and connect them like this. And then connect the 60 years of anniversary connecting these. And then I grab two orange one by ones put one here and one here at the bottom and then grab a pink piece and I put it slightly curved like that and I think that looks really cool and then I grab the other one and put it on so it looks like he's holding like that have fun building with Legos guys